Our new fabrication facility uh, incorporates a lot of new technologies. The robotics is a, a key piece of technology that's been integrated in for us. You know, when you build the world's largest front end loader, it poses its own unique challenges. Moving structures that weigh more than 40 tons, the spinner jigs that we use here are a key investment. So with this mill, we've reduced about 12 hours out of the cycle time for this lift arm assembly. We have found a way to increase quality, at the same time reduce production costs, which benefits the customer in both ways. We also had investments in our heat treat facility. We got into the ion nitride technology. The parts that we will be running on this machine are parts that we've always outsourced. Now we have the capability to do it here. So that also reduces on the shipping costs, costs to have another manufacturer produce it. There is a, a dynamic difference between our new hard rock lines and our surface loader lines. Going from you know, an average of 15 to 20 surface loaders a year, which are very large in scale, to now saying we need to be able to produce 300 individual machines a year from a, a moving assembly line. That was a big challenge to the team. When customers come visit and see the fabrication building, they're going to have two experiences. If they've been here before, they're going to be overwhelmed with the difference from where the fabrication occurred, the environment that it occurred to where they are today. Uh, if they've never been here before, they're still going to be very, very impressed because this is a culmination of collaborations between our manufacturing and engineering development centers in Japan as well as our local teams to produce a facility that provides a high quality product and controls uh, as well as a high quality work environment for our employees.